Hi, my name is James, and I'll be presenting on my paper on RDOC, Mechanisms of Transdiagnostic Polygenic Risk for Trajectories of Depression. Uh, this is a paper that's currently under review. A few things about uh, depression as a developmental construct. So 8 to 20 percent of youths will develop a major depressive disorder before they turn 18. But of course, depression ebbs and flows throughout one's developmental lifetime, uh, such that there's a lot of individual differences in the way that depression develops uh, on an individual level. So um, we know from our own research and from others that there are different developmental trajectories of depression. You can see here from age 13 to 32 using data from Ad Health, the various different depressive trajectories that emerge across this time course. Uh, but we, what we don't really know is what are the factors that underlie the various trajectories of depression. So in our study, we're using genetics and an NIMH framework called RDOC to interrogate this. So what genes should we be focusing on? What we're going to be focusing on for this study is the transdiagnostic polygenic score. Uh, the reason is because heritable complex disorders like depression have multifactorial genetic underpinnings that don't appear to be adequately captured through just looking at a single case control GWAS of something like depression. For instance, what we found in Ad Health is that a transdiagnostic P factor polygenic score explains more variance in depression symptoms than even a major depressive disorder polygenic score does. And this was also found in the Grotzinger Genomic SEM paper. But what we still don't know is how does a transdiagnostic polygenic score eventuate into something so specific like major depression? And this is where RDOC comes into play. Using prospective longitudinal data from Ad Health, we found that there was an indirect effect of the polygenic score on depressive trajectories. Specifically, the polygenic score for the transdiagnostic factor, the P factor, was associated with early adult peak and high declining forms of major depression through the effects of negative emotionality. Um, why does this occur? We think that negative emotionality, or otherwise known as neuroticism, may be a primary mechanistic pathway through which early risk factors like uh, general liability to psychopathology can lead to the development of more earlier expressing forms of depression. We have a lot more findings in our paper, uh, but the primary outcome here is that we think that uh, development is a very important part of causal frameworks, especially as they relate to behavior and mental health outcomes.